Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Arise. In the last episode, we went into the wedge and finished that up. Immediately, we just got it over with. Just went in, got it done, out. And now, we have to head to... Um, uh, Go to Ulzebek. Yeah, there we go. That's where we need to go. Also, in the last episode, over here, we can go to a fishing spot. And we caught a marlin. But we are going to continue right where we left off, guys. No more wasting time. We did all the quests that we could. So, let's go to Ulzebek. And as you see, we immediately can go there. Ah, but I'm gonna go into the inn because I need to, uh, you know, eat and uh, yeah, I need to. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I, I probably need to buy, but I'll probably buy after anything. Cook it's a fruit sandwich like always, and no, I don't want to make it with Rinwell because simply because I don't want it. I it lasts longer, but at the same time, uh, I want the EXP. I want to get more EXP. Right. <clears throat> we are going to go to oh, Lenigus, I suppose. Feels like it's been ages. And we wasn't Zephyr with us too? Dad. Yeah. Hey, chin up. This is your hometown. All right. Let's let's talk Let's have a skit, not Everyone talk. Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Mm-hmm. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah. yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? Law? <laughs> Something bothering you, Law? Of course. Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just, you know. Yeah. It still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. It's hard. But it's okay, Law. We'll make amends. Alright, let's go in. Let's see what we have to do here. What's up, guys? I'm back. Oh, just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head too. Hey. Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm Alfin? <laughs> hey, how's it going, buddy? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears and Dan in disputes. Oh boy. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. We Pretty already sure took care of it. Somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? Uh, personal to reason. To Lenigus. Lenigus? Are you out of your damn mind? Yep, we are. Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. <laughs> well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Mm. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Nath. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was huh. recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? Probably. No. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. That was before the invasion, so it yeah. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? 
Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Hmm. Another meteor in the same area? Fishy. Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. Okay. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. Okay. But you should be careful. Huh? Why? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor. There's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like ah, it. Ah, great. A zoogle, huh? We'll take care of it. I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. All right. Hmm. Nate, are you ready yet or what? Oh, I didn't notice you there, Blazing Sword. And I see. Hmm. Hmm? You're law, aren't you? Zephyr's kid? Damn, why did you get so tall? <sighs> Can't believe a little pig squeak like you is running around with the Blazing Sword himself. Sure, your old man would be proud. Alright. Go on ahead without me. I'll catch up later. You got it, boss. <laughs> See you around, Law. Don't work too hard now. Do hmm? you know that guy? I guess. Can't say I do. Even if I've met the guy before, last time I would have seen him would have been when I was real little. You could have at least said hello back to him. I'm the reason my dad's gone, remember? You know how much they looked up to him. Oh. Hmm. Sorry for getting a sidetrack. Let's just head out. Hmm. Hey, is Law doing okay? Not really. Zephyr's death is really weighing on him pretty hard. Can't say I blame him. Even if it's not his fault, that's a big thing to have to carry at his age. Right. Yeah, but he's trying his best to come to terms with it. I have faith he'll pull through. <laughs> Good. He's gonna need your support. He's still a kid and Zephyr's only one of that. Yeah, that's true. I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Me neither. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. Alright, let's go, but before, let's watch the skit. What do you have for us? Come on, give it to me! That sounds horrible. You okay, Hoodle? okay with Hoodle, Rinwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Mm. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Probably. Actually, Dan and owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. Uh -huh. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Whoo! <laughs> you mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. That would be gorgeous. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach and sides, like a map of our travels! Uh, <laughs> Hoodle doesn't I'll like that. Off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've <laughs> only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Yep. Fascinating. He's adorable. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention. Yep, apparently. Alright, let's head there. I'll catch you guys when anything new pops up. And when obviously I get close to it. Oh, this way? This was, oh yeah, this was where Xi'an was being kept, right? Okay, so this way is new. Yeah, because this way was blocked off, I, if I believe. So this if I remember correctly. Is supposed to take us out to Berg Volcano? We're not going to see any lava burst out in front of us or anything. We see we? parts of Don't a volcano so already. You let a rock fall on your head, Law. Oh. 
All right, grab this before we enter. More hex breakers. Come on. Give me stuff. So are we going to go into the volcano? Yep, we are. Oh boy. Fire monster. Everything's fire here? I would turn on water arts then. Only. Just uh, to abuse that so then. Hot. Well, yeah. We've reached the inner portion of Bird Volcano. We need to find that starship. And fast. Alright, alright. I'll try to hurry. Oh, so this way is a dead end. So we go this way first. Alright. Like I always show you if anything is new. But let me disable. Th this is what I mean when I say that. I go here, obviously none of this, but see, okay, this is, bam, off, water, leave on. This is basically what I do sometimes, like, when I'm in dungeons and all that, that I can exploit a weakness. What did I, I'm turning things on, like, hmm. All right, I'll show you when I finish. All right, I organized everything. So let's fight this thing. Flaming masses, they're new. What I didn't do is, um, oh, great. Now that one is, uh, I didn't do a, a water thing. Not water thing. You know what I mean, guys. Okay, I'm out of it. I didn't um, do water arts here for um, for Alfin. That's what I've been trying to refer to all this time, and I'm just an idiot. Good job. This is just gonna go so much faster and easier now. Transcend Pebble. Oh, we got like big, big beefy monsters down there. All right, and the other one here is... Shh, ah. There's this. There's the big boys here. Awakening Pebbles. Magnolum. All right, let's try and... Uh, try to... Ouch! Uh, okay, I'm just... Oh, nope, not gonna let Can I, uh, thank you. Get revived. There's an astral art, but no one's gonna do anything. Alright. Come on. Right. We're very close. Oh, it's doing nothing. Because it's resisting, obviously. I hate how it just immediately went through my dodge. And apparently I didn't do enough damage or something. There we go. Let's just end it with that. There we go. And done. Let's see what the treasure ha treasure chest has for us. Gothic dress. We got some good equipment. I can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. It's not for you, so it doesn't matter if you like it or not. Oh, what the heck is this? Huh. Well, there's no way of climbing that. So it seems. Allow me to step in. Wait, you're not thinking of trying to vault over with your rod, are you? Why, I hadn't even thought of that. In any case, stand back. I'll handle this. What are you gonna do? Oh, can you bridge gaps? Okay. But first, let's fight this, because we haven't fought this. Rock Modillo. 
right, we're gonna do this immediately. I'm trying to um, just get them done quickly. There you go. At least this will go a little quicker simply because I do have everyone equipped only with water arts. Ow. Alright. Let's get it. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I don't know if you guys had seen that one yet, but there you go. Come on. You're almost done. Right over here, we get more transcendent pebbles. All right, let's see what this um construct. Ah, you can make plants grow instantly. <sighs> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? Stop. I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. <laughs> yep. I barely worked right. up a sweat. This mine, more transcendent pebbles. Is this just a transcendent pebbles and awakening crystals? Oh, awakening pebbles. My face is starting to sting. My throat feels super. I know, I know, sorry. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. Lemon gel. You want some too, Shion? Oh, wait. Alfin. I'm fine, thank you very much. Okay, not bad. I'm just jumping. Whee! Uh, I'm okay, guys. It's not even that high. Calm down. Over here we have. Ooh, nice mining spot. And what's in the chest? Seventeen thousand gold. Don't get complacent. All right over here we get orange gel. Yes, I am sure because we we have to throw it out. Uh, back. <coughs> There's a mining spot here, and let's make this grow. I think this leads to the exit or somewhere else. Hold on. Is this a shortcut? Yep, it is a shortcut. All right. Perfect. We're over here. Oh my god, there's so much. Brigadine. My word. This must be the work of providence. Prov what now? It means destiny. Yeah. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration though. Probably. Am I improving? Right. The speed and precision over of here mining spot I, I had no I'm trying to keep my bonus as so much as I can up oh, another fight okay over here we get a thousand gout not bad uh thought there was something oh there is it's crazy we rocks melt before our eyes watch where you're going everyone I will. There will be nothing left of you. Exactly okay. You come up with Where am I? Ah, I'm going to the exit. I could say the same to you. <laughs> Good thing we're on the same side, huh? I did not mean to go to the exit. My apologies. We're going back up. There's still stuff to explore. We're in good form. All right, over here, a mining spot again. Do we? Oh. Over here, there's something else. I need to drop down. Ooh. Uh, did, did anybody see ah, that? More enemies, but there's something hidden, probably. <sighs> what do we Looks have like here? We came out on top. We just need to Red sure Sage. Right. That's actually and pretty good. Totally overdoing it. Pineapple gel. 
Ooh, mining spot. Wow, that's a lot. And in the chest we get some gold gel. All right, now we go down. Not really, because I missed a ladder. How am I paying attention to this, but totally missing everything that I need to get? We need to go down here. Yeah. What? Huh? Oh, I thought there was like something that we need to get. Like an owl, but no, apparently. Hey, I'm pretty lucky. Where? Okay, there we go. Here's the mining spot. Awakening pebbles and uh is Doho Okay. This bridge will hold just extend it, I guess. Right? Most we get a mystic cloak. No, I won't make any promises. Which one is it? And now we go down. Third time's the charm, right? Okay, let's grow this. Get the chest. Sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Absolutely. Not necessarily. Both of them contain earth astral energy. Gee, look. Tell me that doesn't stop the conversation. It does. Oh my god. I'm still learning what does and what. Do uh, what's. Is this supposed to be a shortcut or why? It's no shortcut for me not to get the monsters, but I want that. Come here. <clears throat> I've never seen so many bullseyes. And I then a mining spot you. here. All right, with everything done, let's actually continue forward. What else is waiting for us here? I forgot to equip Alfin with the uh, this one. There we go. Okay, are we? Oh, we're getting ready for a boss battle. All right, time to touch this. HP and CP full. All right, let's go. We see mining spots over there, but there's going to be a boss battle, isn't there? Oh. Is that the Probably that monster Nath warned us about if I had to guess. This is it. This might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed. Probably. But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy. Huh. We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go. All right, let's do that. You a big boy. How am I hitting you? Arms? I'm guessing we're aiming for the arms. Oh. It's gonna attack. Here it comes. Focus. On your toes, everyone. And it, no one's attacking. Why? Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. I can't Why? even hit him. Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared. Focus up before we become that thing's lunch. It's summoning Zugal. Oh. Take care of them while keeping an eye on it. Okay. So what do we do? We just hit the Zugals? Is that it? I'm trying to keep an eye on it, but the camera doesn't let me. There we go. Oh, be careful. Is he going to keep going forward? Yep. 
Well, at least we're uh, paying attention to that. Okay, he's gonna attack. Probably with a rock or something. There we go, that's the rocks. Okay. What? What's amazing? Can this thing just die? Why did you have to like summon two of the hardest things in this dungeon? It's like one of the hardest things here in this dungeon to kill. And we're just fighting it. That's just amazing. Can I just please take care of this? Please, just... Well, we broke the core, but... Please give me the option to just pummel it. Ouch. There we go. Really? You're just... You're just giving me enough to just finish it. Not enough to like one shot from bigger health and greater HP. Be careful. I thank you for the heal. Am I gonna get a thing to do or right, be careful for that? We're doing so much damage. Good thing I just equipped uh, water arts. Come on, guys. There we go. Alright, that's done. Now can I hit him? No. More? Oh, how about... No, you guys get nothing. Ah, I missed one. Okay, there we go. Perfect. It's giving it, now. It's giving me. Why did I want to give me the thing earlier? Ow! 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 ow. Uh, I'm dead. I need a revive. There we go. Thank you. Right, let me get some HP here. Okay. King. Okay. Um, so how are we going to defeat this Zoogle? There we go. Move, move, Alphant. Jesus. I need healing. You guys aren't even going to heal me? Okay. I guess I'll do it myself. Never mind. I don't need anyone to heal me. Alright, he's summoning something else. Oh, here comes a little thing. Alright. Give me that. This sucks. So we have so many of those. All right, let me confiscate all those. Come on, please. It's just so hard to get it over with with this one. I'm not letting them cast anything. But Ifrit is gonna cast. 
My turn. Now, try harder. More that hit, My turn. Not a chance. Oh my god, I got demolished. There we go. Confiscate all that. Alright, come on. Get that away from them. Alright, now I can focus on these little guys. At least these little guys don't take much. And I should be hitting a lot of them. Or is this just for one? I never known if it's for one. I haven't paid attention. I think it's for one. And I think it died. Oh, here it goes again. Oh, be careful. Right. Alright. We ju we're just... We're just like a few more. Is it done? That's done. What's next? Look sharp, oh my god. It just annihilated everyone. Uh yeah, I need this. I still got to everyone all right? We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Oh Whatever my god. Just please stay safe. How do we how do we defeat this? I don't know. Okay. Oh my god, just smacked him. Unrelenting blaze. Wait, just one hit? Okay. My bad, Alfin. My apologies, holy. Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Mm -hmm. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to was assume it? that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. What about the monster yeah. we f well we didn't Perhaps fight it. A we faced spirit vessel? It's plausible given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. All right. Unrelenting blaze. <clears throat> incineration. We can learn the incineration wave there. Perfect. I mean, all we have to learn is this. Boom. And oh, I forgot there's this thing too. Which has pen. But this one has resistance. I want the pen first. Dang. That's a lot. Alright. Secret key? I can feel my precision improving. Anything? I highly doubt we're gonna fight any monsters anymore. Three to go. What? Three to go? What do you know? Another big fire monster with nothing better to do than get in our way. I wonder where the rest of those lights ended up landing. It looked like they were pretty scattered. Well, mm -hmm. whatever they're after, let's just hope none of them are anywhere near a city. An ambush on civilians is the last thing we need. Yeah. Well, no rest for the wicked, right? Though with one down and three to go, it sounds like our headache is just beginning. A little bit. I thought you liked the opportunity to flex your muscles. Against those things? It's not like I have a death wish. 
Besides, we've already got our hands full saving the world. Dying stupidly won't be much help to the cause. Mm. Yeah, I guess I can't argue with that logic. Sorry. Huh. So are there are more of these that we need to go take care of. Alright, but there are a few mining spots before we leave this area. Grab this. Grab this. And let's is this the way out? Hopefully. Lenegus. Outer area, yep. Hey, is that it over there? Oh. <gasps> There's a merchant here. There's a ship. This must be it. This must be 300 years old. Alvin? Did you remember something? I thought he got all his memories back. No, but... I have seen this starship before. Yes? This is, is the it. key for this? This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenegas. Mm. Oh. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Three Damn. centuries old. I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. And there goes Dohalim like nothing. <laughs> Calm and collected as always. The present. Let's make it look good. Let's take all the plants away. Different time and place. Oh, I guess Alfin was really hoping. Yeah, not to. but you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people too. Law's right. Rinwell too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Thank you. Right. Thanks, you guys. Means a lot. Oh, here he's back. What you find, Dohalim? I see a campfire How's behind us, by the way. It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. Mm. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte. So I'd rather not hazard a guess. So okay. we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. Oh, That's we've got no other options. Child. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good I idea. Agree. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenegas once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. All right. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead... Or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. We take precautions. Definitely take precautions. Shion. Oh my god. Whew. Alright. Oh. We can go to the campfire there and prepare. All right. Can I, um, I can fast travel. All right. In the next episode, I'm going to leave things here. And in the next episode, we're going to probably finish a few of the quests that are not, do not require me to be level 60. So I'll probably do those and see how well I fare. I, I might as well, before I leave, might as well get the most done. Level 60, I'm not even going to try them because I'm level 40-something, so. Am I level 40-something or am I level just... I'm level 43, yeah. So, I'm not even going to try. So, leaving things here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys.
Bye-bye.